first of all, uh, let me congratulate uh, Kyle. Uh, Kyle is the Spotlight student of this week. Is Kyle here? Is Kyle here? Oh, Kyle just came in. Okay. All right, Kyle is the Spotlight student of the week um, because uh, he not only did all four problems correctly, uh, he also did part of a problem five correctly. So he's the Spotlight student. Uh, in addition, we have uh, two runner-ups. So that's Eric Shao and Leo Hong. Okay. So in total, three of them uh, had all problems answered correctly. I mean, all required. Uh, problems. The first four problems answered correctly. Okay. Um, I think Kyle is here. Kyle, you can pick a problem you want to discuss. Which problem would you like to talk about? Hmm? Somehow. Okay. Kyle, uh, you have two accounts. You want to pick a problem? Uh, yeah. Um what happened just then it was kind of weird so i was i i just entered the meeting and then uh, and then i couldn't press anything so i had to um reload the app and yeah okay so that's fine pick a problem uh you know you want to talk about um i don't know but first i actually want to talk about the general for a general formula a general <laughs> formula. uh pick you know, how about you start with the the first problem Okay. Okay. And uh, then uh, Leo and Eric. Uh, well, Leo had uh, part of problem five also correctly. So Leo, you can pick one. Which problem would you like to talk about? Um, I'll talk about number two. Number two. Okay. Eric, which one would you like to talk about? All right. I'll talk about number three. Number three. Okay. Um, I think... Uh, oh... Actually, no, sorry, it was not Eric. I think uh, the other one who answered correctly was Xu Yun. Okay, Xu Yun answered all of them correctly. Well, that's, uh, Xu Yun, you can pick a problem too. Okay, would you like to talk about problem four? Um, I wanted to talk about problem three. Three, okay. Well, you have three. Eric, how about you do four? Okay. All right, so we have uh, Kyle, number one, Leo, number two, uh, uh, Xu Yun, number three, and Eric, number four, okay? Uh, but I want to start with the second problem. I think the second problem was actually an easier one. Okay, uh, let me let me pull the problems. Okay, I want to start with the second one. Uh, all right. So basically, it's saying I'm taking three mooncakes. Well, it's mid autumn day. Uh, you know. It's a Chinese tradition to, to eat mooncakes. You know, have a family sit together, eat mooncakes, and uh, you know, walk, look at the moon. Right. Uh, so I took out three mooncakes and I cut it to, into four equal pieces. And the three moon mooncakes, the same flavor. So we can consider all these twelve pieces. They are the same. Okay. So I want to start with the second problem. So it said if Leo has to give at least one piece to each family member. Okay. Leo has to give at least one piece to each family member. How many different ways can Leo allocate a mooncake pieces? Okay, so in total there are 12 mooncakes, uh, 12 pieces. And Leo need to give five family members, five family members, at least one per person, one each. Okay, go ahead. So basically, you can first give out one to each person. Okay, so let's say there are three, uh, five people. Uh, you want to name them? Okay, H W um, L A E. Okay, so H is Dr. Hong, W is Dr. Wang, uh, L is Leo, A is Angela, E is Ila. Okay, so um, you give them one, one of them each. Yeah, you can just pre-gift them. Okay. So it's basically really just asking for seven. Okay, now you have seven. Seven left. Okay. So then I first did, did it as if H, W, and L all got zero, not including the one. Zero, zero, zero. Yep. So now we're allocating the remaining seven. Okay, zero, zero, zero. So three zeros. Yeah. So then with A and E, uh -huh. there would be a total of eight ways. 
eight ways. So how, what are the eight ways? Well, A gets zero through um, seven, and then E just gets a corresponding one. Seven to zero, okay. So that's a total of eight ways. Eight ways, okay. So these are eight ways. So then if you instead make it H and W are zero, and then you start changing the L okay. to L, A, and E, okay. then it would be eight plus seven plus six all the way to one. Because uh, you can make L to one, two, all the way to what? All the way to seven. Seven, okay. You can also make L zero. Well, you already had L equal to zero here, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. So then it's just eight plus seven plus six. So then this will be how many ways here? Seven. Seven ways. So this, you know, when, a, when L is one, a could go from zero to six, right? Yeah. So E can go from six to zero. Yeah. So there are seven ways. So then seven, six, six, all the way to one. One. Okay. So one all the way to eight is thirty-six. So these in total is thirty-six. Okay. So then you start changing W. Okay. If you start changing W, then it would be. A so plus zero to H. Yeah. All right, and then W, you have one all the way to seven. Yeah. Okay. So then you already have the eight on um, one already, one plus two all the way to eight. Mm -hmm. So then if it was one, then it will be one plus two all the way to seven. Okay, so if this is one here, it will be one plus two all the way Which to is seven. Twenty one. Okay, so it's twenty one. And you do the same, and then it will be 1 to 6, and a 1 to 5, okay, and so on. the next one is 1 plus 2 all the way to 6 is what? 15. 15? All the way to just 1. 1 all the way to 6 is, no, 1 all the way to 7 is not 21. Well, I mean 28. Huh? 28. 28, okay. Here is? 21. 21. And then you keep on doing it mm -hmm. all the way until it's 7, which there will be one way. Okay, 1, okay. So then I found that if you have like one plus two all the way to x, that would be well n that would be n times n plus one over two. Okay. And then and then if you add it to um one all the way one plus two all the way to n minus one, okay, then it would be n n minus one times n or just n times n minus one. Okay. If you add them up you get two n squared over two with n squared. Okay. So then I saw that you could pair 1 to 7 with 1 to 6. 1 to 7 and 1 to 6, okay. So 1 to 5 39. with 1 to 4. Okay, one, 1 to 5 to 1 to 4. And so on. Yes, all this will be what? This will, this will be 5 square, 5 square was 25. 25 okay. And you keep on doing it until... 3 and 2, that will be 9. Yeah. And then... 1 and 0. 1 and 0, that will be... One? Yeah. Okay. So then if you add them up, you get 75 plus 9 is 84. 84 plus 75 plus 84, okay. So then you just start changing H. Okay, you started changing H, all right. So you make H go from 1 to 7? Yeah. Okay. So first you have 84. Okay. Well, 84, which is like over there. 84 was zero, okay? Yeah. yeah. And then you have 84 minus 28. Okay, 84 minus 28. The first one, what well, H is one, so 84 minus 28, okay? Which is, um, which is like 56. 56. And then for two, you have 56 minus 21, which is 45. Okay. And then for three, it's forty-five minus fifteen, which is um, thirty. And then for four, you have thirty. For four, you have thirty minus ten, which is twenty. For five, you have twenty minus six, which is fourteen. For six. You have 14 minus 3, which is 11. And then for...
Wait, there's something wrong. Something wrong? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong here? Hmm? So if it's seven, it's supposed to have one, right? Yeah. So what's wrong here? Where which part was wrong? So when you have one, okay, when you have one means the remaining ones you will have seven, right? I mean six, up to six. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's one all the way add up all the way to six, right? Yeah. So then W can go from one to six. So it's eighty four minus what? No, actually from zero to six, right? Mm. Well, oh, you first need to subtract 36. Subtract? Well, I, mean, I mean, you need to subtract, um, you need to, what, So this will be 120, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. so restart. Okay, 120. 120 minus 28. Minus what? Uh, wait, minus 36. 36, okay is 84. Okay. 84 minus 28 is 56. Okay. And then we keep going on 45 okay. and 30 and 20 and then 14. And then 11. And then... And what? Something wrong, huh? All right, you want to think about it? Yeah. Okay, go check uh, what you did before. Okay, anyone else want to try this? Hi. Um, I have another solution. Uh, okay, David, Kyle, I'll, I'll go back to yours. Okay, because you have a more difficult problem. Okay. All right, go ahead, David. You want to oh, continue wait, but, but, or I have another, different? I mean, before, before I, um, I explain, uh, can you tell me if I got it correct or not? Uh, what's, what's your answer? 330? Yes. Okay. Correct. So, so, in this problem, Leo give everyone a mooncake so all people eat. So we mm -hmm. have x plus y plus z plus w plus v equals 12. Okay, so can I just do this? Okay. Right. And then... Um, we have E equals 12 minus H plus W plus L plus A. Okay. E equals minus H plus W plus L plus A. Okay. I can't see your writing for some reason. Oh, sorry. And then, so, since no people can get zero, W, I mean, H, H plus W plus L plus A can be 4 to 11. So this can be 4 to 11, okay? So we just count all the possibilities in which they add up to 4 through 11. In X plus Y plus Z plus W equals 4. Okay. Um, can write that. Okay. We have uh, only one solution. Okay. And then for five. Um, you have like this here's how I did it. So I made A equals five minus H plus W plus L. Five minus okay, A so H plus W plus L plus A is 5. Then A equals 5 minus okay, H plus W plus L. Okay. And then H plus W plus L can be 3 or 4. 3 or 4. Okay. For 3, there is one solution. For, for 4, there... There is one solution for 4. There is 3 solution because it just three depends solution. on where you put the 2. It's 1, 2, okay. 1. And then, so that makes four total. So that will be four here? Yeah. Okay. And then you have six. 
So equals six, okay. And then so um the H plus W plus L can equal three, four, and five. Okay, so these three will be three, four, or five, okay? Three has one, four has three, and five has six. So basically, one, three, six. So in I found the pattern. Yeah, I found a pattern that like okay, what's from from three, it is the sum of the first fir first positive number. Four mm -hmm. is the sum of the first two positive numbers. Five is the sum of the first three positive numbers. Yeah. So this is uh, um, this is the one. This is the one plus two. This is one plus two plus three. Yeah. And then, so you have, um, and for seven, you have some of some of the first four numbers of the four, first four um, sums. Okay. So you uh, have one, one plus two, one plus two plus three, one plus two plus three plus four, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's you know there will be three, four, five, six, right? So add up to what? Um. 20. 20, okay. And you keep going for eight, you have 35. For eight, you have 35. Um, for nine, you have 56. For nine? 56. So see here, from 20 to 35 is 20, 15. So this is 10 plus 10. And then here you'll be adding 21. So that'll be 56. And, and 10, 10 is 84. That'll be plus 28. So that'll be 84. Okay. 11. And Does that go to 11? 120. Yeah, it yeah, goes to 11. At 36, that's 120. So you, now you add up these numbers, right? 120, yeah. 84, this, this, this. Oop. Oh. Okay, add up these numbers here, here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's add them up. So this is 5, 15, 35, 70, 70, 126, 210, and then 330. 330. Yeah. Right? Very good. Good. This is organized counting. Very good. So Leo, did you figure out uh, your way? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. So something with the arithmetic. Okay. So when you subtract 56 minus 21, you get 35. Oh, yeah, 35, right? Yeah. So 35, very good. Okay. And so then 35 30, minus... 15 is 20. 5 minus 15 is 20. 20 minus 10. Is 10. 10. 10 minus... 6. 6 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's arithmetic, right? Yeah. Okay. And then what? And then you just add them all up. Add which numbers? Well, you also need to add on 120. All right, you need to add 120. 120 is here, right? Yeah. These ones. So that's when this is equal to 0, right? Yeah. So 0, you have 120. And then you add up all these numbers. Did you find some familiar things? You know, you're adding up these numbers the same as uh, where? Uh, David, David started with one, right? One, four, all the way to 120. Mm. Right, so this David from, from two different angles. They are both good. They are both organized counting. Okay, uh, very good. Uh, there are an easier way to solve this problem. Kyle. Okay, go ahead, Kyle. I bet your way is my way too. So I want, you know, you can start with problem two and then Talk about problem one. Is that okay? Okay, so first, moon cakes and table is actually pretty similar to stones and sticks. Okay. Yeah, explain. You know, people may not know the stone stick thing. So just explain what you mean. Okay. Stones and sticks is where you have this amount of objects and you need to split them between this amount, this amount of people and then you use sticks to separate the objects into groups. Okay, so let's use sticks to separate the uh, moon cake then, all right? So we have 12 moon cakes. Okay. 
11, uh, let me draw one here, 12. Okay, we have 12 moon cakes. And then you're going to use stick to separate them, right? How many sticks do you need? Um, there are four sticks because um, for five groups, you need five minus one equals four sticks. Okay, so let's say if I put a if I put a stick here, stick one here, another stick here, another stick here, another stick here, then we separate them to five pieces, right? So I mean yeah. five 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 groups. So this will be for the first one, for the second one, for the third one, for the fourth one, for the fifth one, right? So everyone has a few moon kicks. So now we only use here it's because it's five people. So we only need four sticks, right? Yes, so um, next is that since this problem says that no pe person can have zero, that means that no sticks can be mm -hmm. on the edges or no two sticks can be on the same spot. All right, so basically we cannot put, let's say there are a few mooncakes, we cannot put a stick here and then another stick on the same, you know, between the two adjacent mooncakes, right? Because if we are doing this way, then we have one person here, another person will be between these two sticks, that person will have zero moon kicks. Zero. And that person will cry, okay? Cry. <laughs> will cry. What about if two? Okay, so that's probably Leo, right? So Leo will cry if he didn't get any, any moon kick, right? <clears throat> so <coughs> we cannot put two or more sticks in the same the same spot okay when i say spot that means between two moon kicks between two adjacent moon kicks okay keep going okay so now you can conclude there are 11 spots all right there are 11 spots because we have totally 12 moon kicks and then there are only 11 spots between these moon kicks okay 11 of them 10 11 okay why not here why can't we put a stick here um, because if you put a stick then there, then the edge people will get no. Yeah, let's say Leo is here, right? Leo will get zero stick again, zero, zero moon kick again. So we don't, we don't put a stick here, right? So let's be nice to our family members, okay? And then what? Mm -hmm. So eleven spots. Um. So since it is eleven spots and four sticks, then it will be C eleven four. All right, C, 11, 4, right? So that's 11 choose 4, right? Mm -hmm. 11 times... 10 times 9 over... Right? And then you can cancel all of them out. Cancel these, cancel this. So that's 330, right? Yeah. So <laughs> this... This actually leads to the general formula. So okay. suppose if there are M moon cakes and uh, S sticks. Okay, M moon cakes, moon cakes, okay, and S sticks. So, um, and then suppose if Suppose if it says that um, you can't give zero moon kicks to any person, okay. so with the with the same thing in mind, so you can so first there's a solution one so number one so you do Leo's way, but I'm not gonna continue that because mm -hmm. for solution two. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, so for solution number one, there will be n minus n minus x minus one. N my, where is x? S. Oh, s. Okay. N minus s minus one. This is what? This is the amount of moon cakes if you're doing it Leo's way. Oh no! no you're, let's do your way. <laughs> So no, 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 no. I, 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 no, I, I, I need a, I need to reference it. Um, I, I need to reference it so that you know that there are n minus s minus one. Um, okay. wait, n minus s minus one moon cakes, and and s sticks. Okay. And then for solution number two, you just do it my way. So you first first put n moon cakes you don't really need to draw that mm. so 
there will be n n minus one equals eleven spots. Okay, n minus one spots. Okay, n minus one spots. Okay, so these are basically adjacent. You know the the spots that we can put the sticks, right? So if there are n mooncakes, then there will be n minus one spots. Okay. And then it will just be c, um, and then you can conclude that it will be c n minus one, uh, c n minus one s. Yes, right. So from n minus one spots, we are putting s sticks, right? So that's a general formula for for this case. If we are giving giving uh, at least one mooncake to each. But that here. that can that can prove in even more general to. Like you can, you can just have, um, you, you can just, it's just regular, the regular for problem number one. Okay. So, so let's talk about problem number one. So what if someone can, you know, they may wait, have actually, zero. I need to on the general formula. Huh? I, um, to, can, um, to do problem number one, I just actually used the general formula. Okay. I proved Go ahead. So that means if there are actually, uh, if if the number of mooncakes is actually um, n minus s minus one, so n minus s minus one equals, uh, well, well, let, let's let's say that it's actually there's actually first n one minus one, n n one mooncakes and s sticks. What do you mean n one mooncakes? Just n mooncakes, right? No, n one because I have to um, because I I'm gonna discuss a different case. Okay, <laughs> how about n? <laughs> okay. N mooncakes. Okay. So n equals n equals n minus s minus one, and then s is still the same. Why? I mean, we are talking about n mooncakes. We are splitting n mooncakes to uh to. Well, you say S people, let's say M mooncakes to P people. No, actually, 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 it's, um, it's, it's related, so you don't have to draw that line. Yeah, that, that's fine. Go, keep, keep, keep going. I'm just trying to make the notation straight. We have M mooncakes and P people. Now you go. No, ahead. actually, the S is the same. Huh? The S is the same. Well, the first one is S sticks. And here and I'm no. saying uh, we have P people. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm I'm saying that I'm saying that it's it's a it's a different case, but it has some 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 of the same variables. Uh, I don't need a same variable. I want you to articulate a problem using n mooncakes and p people. Either use n mooncakes p people or twelve mooncakes and five people. <sighs> Try it. Can I just make, can I, can you just make it S, S sticks? <laughs> it, it's, it's the same number. Yes, it's the same number, but I want you to try a different variable, right? So <laughs> I don't want you to recite a formula, okay? I want you to show your understanding and convey that to the other case. Hmm. Try it. Or you use 12 and five, rather than using your formula, all right? So for this, for this type of problem, okay, if you, if you remember, if you know the formula, that's great. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't like to make this a memory test, right? So I want you to make sure you understand it. Um, you know, make sure uh, uh, you know the basics of counting method, like uh, what Leo and David did. And then, you know, when we explore the more advanced method, like combinatorics, like these formulas, then I, I I really want to make sure you guys understand what's behind it. Okay, so if, if the formula says S and then when I change it to P, you don't know how to do it, that that's that's not enough. All right. You want to try it? Either N P or 12 and 5. You there? Kyle? Hmm? 
Oh, yes, Kyle is on. Anyone else want to try this? Oh, am I off? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, okay. Uh, anyone want to try this? Okay, Shirin, go ahead. I said I didn't, I didn't really want to try it, but I just said that we can hear you. Oh, okay. Okay. Anyone want to try this? Which one? You're using Kyle's method? Whoever's yeah. method is. Stars and bars method. So basically, oh. if for number two, Okay. like, now that you have to give one to everybody, just like give one to everybody at advance, and then use the stars, and then use like the dividers and the, like the moon cakes method. Okay. So that, that way you have, you still have four dividers because you have five people, but now you only have seven moon cakes left because okay, everybody. Hold on. hold on. So now I have seven. Uh, which problem you're you're talking about? The second problem or the first? Yes. Yeah. Second. The second one we have twelve moon cakes. No, because you have to give one to everybody. You have to give one, and then since there's five people... Oh, yeah, yeah, the second, okay, okay, yeah. So you seven. subtract five from twelve, and then, and then you have to still put four dividers in, and then you, like, do the same algorithm. That's the second problem, right? Yes, it is indeed. Yeah, so I'm, I'm you know, we, we have finished the second problem. Now we are going to the first problem. Problem number one. And then someone may have zero mooncakes. <laughs> yeah, that's entirely that's entirely possible. Yeah, it is possible. So how how do how how many different ways to, to allocate the mooncakes? You can put you can just put four dividers into twelve mooncakes. Okay. And so 12 plus 4 is 16. Hold on, hold on. Why do you do 12 plus 4? What is that 12 plus 4 thing? Now I have... Because uh, I want to use combinations to see how many ways there are to arrange the, the dividers and the moon cakes. So how many dividers you are using? You have four dividers? Yes. Four dividers? Yes, and then since there's 12 moon cakes, the number of ways to do it is the number of ways to arrange the dividers in the moon cakes. Why is that? Why, why now you have 12 plus 4? In the first time, we only had 11, right? We had 12 minus 1. And now we have 12 plus 4. Why, why do you have 12 plus 4? Um, we have 12 plus 4 because you have 12 moon cakes, and then you have to put in four dividers to see how, how much everybody gets. But in the first time, I need to put in four dividers too. Then why is, uh, you know, 11 choose four? What's the difference? See, the first one, I also had 12 mooncakes, right? And yeah. then uh, I have, uh, you know, four dividers. And then, uh, uh, you know, Kyle said we need to do 12 minus one because there are, you know, 11 spots. So we choose 11 choose four, right? So here, why do you do 12 plus four? I do 16 choose 4 because okay, so you do 16 choose 4. Why do you do 16 choose 4? Because there's 12 moon cakes, four dividers. You want to try to find the way or arrange the divide the moon cakes, the total number of things choose dividers. Yeah, but the first time it was also 12 moon cakes for dividers, right? Yes. <laughs> um, I have a question. Why did you do 16 choose 4 in the first place? Let, let, let me, was that uh, Eric? No, I just have a question on what, 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 the, what the answer to the problem one is. Uh, I think it's 1820. Oh. I think the problem one's answer was 1820. Okay. Was that, uh, first of all, was that Eric who was speaking with me? For the 16 to 4? Wait, wait, I think I got something wrong. Okay. <laughs> Well, what did you get wrong? I need people who explain why is 16, okay? The first time was 11, then this, this time was 16, why? I need someone to explain this to me. Okay, I know some of you learned a formula, but that's not the, 
the goal of math is not just to learn the formula and know how to apply it. Okay, so I want you to really understand where the formula is from. Okay. I'm I'm, I'm trying to learn the formula. I'm trying to prove the formula. Okay, go ahead, prove it. So, can you just draw? Uh, so, just can you draw a line here? Draw what? Draw a line so that I can start a new section. Okay. So, you want to start a new a new piece? Okay. So as I said before, uh, see that there are n moon cakes and that still look the same as sticks. M moon cakes. S sticks, okay? Mm hmm So M equals can you go up up again? Wait, uh like before column number one. Here? Wait a second. A little down. Can you move a little slower? I can't really catch up. Yeah, so M equals N minus S minus one. What is N? You didn't define um, I, I I already defined it and in, in previously I tried to try to try to do try try to prove try to prove it so s and n s and n are previous variables. Okay. So yeah. previously we have n mooncakes as sticks. Now mm. where is this m then? You just define m as m mooncakes. M is. Oh, actually, m I feel like I got it. So basically, uh, yeah, like, no, 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 not your turn yet. Okay, so this okay. is Kyle's. Turn. We need to okay. we need to let, let Kyle try. Okay, until I ask M any anyone else. So M is n minus s minus one. M is n minus s minus one. How? Why did you define it this way? So since before I I talked about solution one, there okay. would be. There would be n minus s minus one mooncakes and s sticks, so I'm just redefining it to be n. No, 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 no. The first, the first one had n mooncakes. There's nothing. There's nowhere. No, I said s minus one. I said there was solution number one and solution number two. Okay. And this, um, this is for solution number two. Um, we've already, pr uh. Hmm. I'm confused. Sorry. <laughs> Keep thinking. All right. Anyone else? I'm David. Can I go, I can I go again, please? Yeah, you're uh, Eric, right? Yes. So Eric, instead Eric. of like doing 12 plus 4, we have to try yep. to like fit between the gaps because like you don't like overlap the, the sticks with the stones. Okay. So you have to go between the gaps. There's 11 gaps. You can count them. All right, so there are 11 gaps. All right. So 11 choose 4 because you have to put 4 dividers in. 11 choose 4. Then this is the same. Uh, this, this, was a solution, uh, uh, this was a solution to problem 2, right? No, this is problem 1, isn't it? Nope, this is problem 2. We started with problem 2. We started with problem 2. Everyone has at least one piece, OK? And we have finished problem two. Now we are going back to problem one. Yes, this is for problem one. It is not. Okay, it is not. This um, is the answer to problem two. Okay. I have Leo. another solution, David. Hold on, David. I'll, I'll let Leo. I'll, I'll let Leo try first. I think after you first need to do um, um eleven choose four, but then you need to add stuff. Uh huh. So first, I think we need to add. If one person, if one person gets zero and then... Okay, oh, okay, good idea. So I start with 11 choose four. 11 choose four is everyone, everyone gets one or more, right? 
Yeah. Okay, then that's how many ways we can have it. And then you said you need to add. Add what? Add the number of ways that someone could get zero. Okay, so let's start with uh, Leo gets zero. Okay, let's say Leo gets zero. Leo gets zero. Okay, in the first case, 11 choose four, everyone gets one or more. And then, you know, we have 11 choose four, right? Well, so, and then you need to add 11 choose three. Okay, then the next one, if Leo gets zero, there'll be 11 choose three. And then what else? And then you need to multiply by five. You need to multiply by five. Why do you multiply by five? Because there are a total of five people ah, that so can get it. Leo may get zero, and uh, say Dr. Hall may get zero, and you know, Dr. Wong may get zero, and Angela may get zero, and Yira may get zero. So we need to do 11 choose three times five. Yeah. And then let's see, let, let's see if we add them up, what we got, all right? So 11 choose four is what, 330? Right, we just calculated. 11 to 3, 11 times 10 times 9 over 3 times 2 times 1, right? Yeah. So that's, that's 3, 165. 5. So 165, right? Yeah. And then 165 times 5 is what? 190. Uh, wait, 165 times 5 is, is, um, 825. 825. So is the answer 330 plus 825? No. Uh, what else? What else? Are you we also need to add like if two people get zero. Oh, two people get zero. Okay, let's keep trying. So let's say if Leo and Angela get zero. Okay. And then what do we got here? Then you have, wait, then you have 11 choose two. Oh, 11 choose two, right? So now we only need to choose for the other, we, we only need to allocate uh, the, the, the mooncakes to the other three people, right? And then you multiply it by five choose two. By five choose two. Five choose two is 10, right? Yeah. Okay. So what is this? This is equal to 11 times 10 over two times one times 10. Which is 55, 550. 550, wow. Is that done? So here yeah. plus 550? Yeah. Okay, what else? We also need to add as three people. Three people, okay, so let's say three people. Three you, people. You. Oh, okay, me, okay. Let's say uh, three people, right? Get zero. You never add yourself. Okay. And then what, what, what do you get? So then you get um, 11 choose, 11 choose one. Okay. Which is just 11. Okay. And then you multiply it by five choose two. Because first choose three is the same as okay. five choose three. It's five choose three, the same, so that would be 10. ten. That's 110. 110, okay. And then you need to add a four people. Four people get zero, right? Four people get zero. So then it's 11 choose zero, which is just one. Okay. Times five choose four, or five choose one, which is just five. Okay. Which is equal to, yeah. All right, so. Plus 550 plus 110 plus 5. That's all. Add up all these numbers, okay? Uh, you are getting, I think, 1820. 18, yeah. Okay? Sure. Okay. So Leo just, just used the previous 11 choose 4, you know, 4 sticks uh, across this uh, 11 gaps, okay? 4 dividers on the 11 gaps. Then we can do it this way. There, I mean, but I still like, I still like, uh, um, was that Eric? Eric, early on, measured actually 16 choose 4. That's actually the easiest answer. Why is 16 choose 4? I need, I still need people to explain this to me. Okay. Actually, by the way, if you do 16 choose 4, then you're getting the same number. Okay. 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 over 4 choose 3 two times 2 times 1. And this is also 18 20. Okay. So I need, I need someone to explain to me why is 16 choose 4. Kyle. Okay. Go ahead, Kyle. Um, so I, can I continue on my, my, <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so you, you remember from last time is that there's a, there's another, there's the first solution, we, we continue on with the first solution. Okay. For first solution, so there are N, M moon cakes. Okay, M moon cakes? No, I mean M. Okay, M moon cakes, okay. And then um, m equals n plus um, n n minus s minus one. 
Well, we're going back there. So why is M is N? What is N? What is S? S is the number of sticks. And okay. you can you can remember from the start of my proof that, that S is the number of sticks for solution number two and N is the number of mooncakes for solution number two. Okay, let's let's uh let me give you a hint, okay? What this is doing exactly if we started with 12 mooncakes, okay? If we start with five people, okay? What you're doing here exactly is 12 minus five, okay? Yes. You have S minus S minus one is the same as minus S plus one, okay? I was saying there were P people. This is actually P, okay? You had the number of mooncakes minus the number of people, okay? Because each people will have at least one. And then the remainder, you, you define it as M. So that means for, for, the, for the remaining M mooncakes, when you allocate these M to P people, okay, then these people may get zero. Some of them may get zero, right? So that's where you get is N minus S minus one. Okay, I'd like you to understand why it is this rather than just get a formula, okay? Keep going. Yeah, so then you get that N equals P plus M. N equals P plus M. And then, and then you get, you, you remember the previous thing is that for, uh, for when there are N mooncakes and S sticks and each person has to have at least one mooncake. Okay. Yeah. It was a solution of C. Can you go back? It's C eleven four. Okay, <laughs> so n will be that will be C n minus one, uh, p minus one. P is number of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then n is p plus m. N is p plus m. Okay. So you get the final final. Um, solution C C P plus M minus N minus one uh, M minus one P minus one C P plus M minus yeah. one mm -hmm. P minus one like this mm -hmm. okay for for M sticks and P um for M mooncakes and P people okay M mooncakes Cakes, P, people. All right, very good. So you're getting this. So what Kyle is doing, you know, Kyle started with the, the problem that we said, okay, everyone will have at least one moon cake. But that's basically equivalent. That's the equivalent. You know, let's say 12 moon cakes, five people, okay? If everyone has at least one moon cake, that's equivalent to allocate seven moon cakes, 12 minus one, um, 12 minus five, seven moon cakes to five people with some people may get zero right so these two problems are equivalent that's where kyle derived to this uh uh this one okay c p plus one minus one and p minus one okay and then what and then you can apply the the, the final solution to problem number one all right so now we apply this so this is the algebraic way of doing things right so kyle basically derived the formulas out so now let's say, uh, you know, uh, 12, divide, 12 uh, allocating 12 to, you know, n is 12, p is 5. Allocating 12 to 5 is equivalent to allocating, you know, with one or more, one plus mooncake per person, okay? Okay, that's equivalent to allocating 7 to 5 with zero or more per person, right? And then Kyle derived this formula. So now let's see, okay, what if we have 12 mooncake to five people, but you know, some of them may get zero. Then they'll be going back to this formula. That'll be C, P is five, M is 12 minus one over P is five minus one is the same as C, 16, four. Okay, very good. So this is an algebraic, algebraic way of, of deriving this formula. Okay, good. Anyone else? I still need an intuitive way of, 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 uh, of, 
of understanding this. Why is C six? I'm really confused on this. So what what was N again? N was the Arino mooncake. So remember when we discussed problem number two, we said we have twelve mooncakes, and each person will have at least one, right? Let's look at this. When Leo did the first one, so we have twelve mooncakes, right? And then each person will have at least one. So what Leo did at the beginning was to give each person one mooncake, right? Basically gave them one to satisfy that condition. And then we have seven mooncakes left. And to allocate these seven so that some people may get zero. And then, you know, we did a calculation like this, right? So that's where, where this, uh, what is 12 minus five is, okay? N will be the 12, N will be the 12, five will be the five people. So N is the number of mooncake when you allocate to people, each one will have at least one. And then when we minus the number of people, we have M, M is the number of mooncake. When we allocate out, some people may not get any of the M, right? So again, back to my question, I need someone to, to explain. So N is 17? Huh? So n is seventeen. N is twelve. Where is n is twelve? N is twelve in the in the original problem. How's okay. n is how how is n twelve? At the beginning, we have twelve pieces. Right? Um, yeah. In the beginning, yeah. we have twelve pieces, but yeah. So uh, then that's then? problem number two. That's problem number two. We have twelve Dr. pieces. No, how did you pieces. get seven? Dr. Twelve Hall? minus five is seven. Kyle, let me finish. 12 minus five is seven. Oh, okay. All right, so basically these seven is to allocate seven so that people may or may not get any of them, okay? And then if you go back to problem number one, I said it's 12 pieces to five people. I didn't add any constraint. I didn't say everyone will have at least one. You look at this problem. Look at problem number one. There's no constraint. I just say how many different ways can Leo allocate this mooncake, right? So that means yeah. allocating that 12 is similar, you know, it's a similar analogy of allocating these, these seven when you and Leo allocated, right? You and Leo allocated these seven mooncakes to people so that they may get zero, right? So now we're just changing. Instead of allocating seven here, we're allocating 12 here. That's what Kyle did with the algebraic way of derived that equation, okay? C, number of people plus number of mooncake minus one, choose for uh, number of people minus one, this the number of dividers, okay? Uh, Dr. Hall, I Yeah, I go. see, yeah, I know. All right, Kyle. Okay, Kyle, go ahead. <laughs> no, I mean like I have to go, um, I have to leave the meeting now. Yeah, I know, you have a soccer, you have a soccer practice, right? Yeah, bye. Yeah, have fun there. Bye. Wait, how does okay, he have a comments on it? How does he have a soccer huh? package? It's like 8.45. He lives in Seattle, oh, William. Yeah. He lives in Seattle. William, you know, the, the, you know the, the smart kids are not just in Charlotte, okay? So Charlotte has some smart kids. Uh, Seattle has smart kids too, okay? <laughs> All right? And actually, uh, Eric is from Seattle as well, and the Xu Yun is from Seattle as well. I agree, there are three people. Three of you are from Seattle. Okay. Anyway, I still need you guys to explain why is 16 choose 4? Huh? Okay, Isn't it because there's 11 okay. spots, and then there's one on the edge, and then there can be four in the same spot, so it's just 12 plus 4? Oh, who's that? Kenny. Kenny, okay. So there are 11. Okay, let me draw. There's. Know, Mooncakes. There's so there 11, 11 in gaps. 11 gaps, and then there's the mm -hmm. edge ed on the edge. There's one more. Okay. So that's well, there are 12. Two edges. Well, hold on. There are two edges. Well, what yeah. Do you mean by one more? Yeah. Well, well, yeah. And then, so then there's you can group up to four in the same edge. You can well, put four on the same edge. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay. And then, so then it's 16. 
Uh, that's 16, so how many? So I have Wait. 11 plus two edges plus Wait. four. That's how many? Wait, that's, no, you can't put. That's, uh, Wait, hang on. Where did you get 16? Something's wrong. Yeah, something's wrong. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Okay, Leo. So I think you can just kind of like just put the four sticks. Okay, four and, sticks. And the twelve mooncakes all together. Twelve mooncakes. Yeah. Okay. And then. Four. four? Yeah. This is this is sixty. But why 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 do it this way? I'm and like and then I think you can. And then you can, I think, wait, and then you can put a stick, um, a stick on either of the four. Mm -hmm. And you can also put a stick in between each of the mooncakes or at the very end. Okay, so I can put these sticks. I can put all four sticks here, for example. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so, so what? So then... Oh, no. Okay. Anyone else want to try? No, I know why it's. I know why. Um, I got something wrong. It's because the two edges are actually the same. It's just that you arrange them on a line. Because if you arrange them in a circle, then there's only one edge, and there's all gaps, and the edges are the same. So if you put two on one side and two on the other side, just it's the same as putting four in one edge. Oh, okay. I like your idea. You said arrange them as in a circle, right? Arrange them in a circle. Arrange, arrange all the mooncakes in a circle. Then there yeah. will be 12 gaps. Okay. And then what? And then you can put up to four in the same spot. So that's 12 plus 4 is 16. Okay. I can put four in the same four sticks. One, two, three, four on the same spot. That's fine. And then what? Why, why is this 16? <laughs> See, if I put these four on the same spot and I have 11 other places I can put them, why not 15 choose four? Why is this 16 choose four? Then why is that? I know this is a formula. This is a famous formula. You know, uh, you know, you you will find this formula yeah, I think from I know why. many sources. But I, I want you I to understand. It. Okay, was that David? Um, can you draw eleven circles? Eleven circles. No, I mean One, twelve. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. And put two bars on either side. A bar here. And a bar here, okay? No, uh, and another bar. Add another bar. Like this? Yeah. So okay. there you go. Um, you have 16 of them. So 16 choose 4 equals, I mean, 18, 20. So why is this? Yes, we have 1, 2, and 12. And 1, 2, then what is the difference between 1, 2, 3, 4, and then these 12 circles? Why this one convinced me is 16 choose 4? Well, because um, this, the bottom one is the same thing, right? It's also 16 choose 4. So you only have to put... It's also 16 choose 4. Why? 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 I mean, the question is why? So I'm putting four sticks here and 16, uh, 12, 12 mooncakes there. Then what is, what, what, what does 16 choose four mean? So basically there's 16 possible choices and you're making four choices? 16 possible choices of what? Of grouping. Of grouping what? 
grouping the sticks. I mean, grouping, grouping the cookies. The, grouping the cookies, okay? <laughs> the mooncakes, okay? All right, so guys, uh, for the interest of time, uh, we already go beyond one hour, right? So let me explain to you what's going on, okay? Hopefully you can get it, okay? Look at this, we have 60 objects, okay? 60 objects. If we shuffle them, if we just shuffle them, okay? We can put two bars here and a few mooncakes here, and then a bar here and a few mooncakes, and then a bar here. No matter what we do, there will be 16 slots, right? There will be 16 slots. What we are doing is actually putting four bars on these 16 empty slots. We'll put in bar here, bar here, and bar here, and maybe a bar here. And then the remaining ones will be mooncakes. That will give us an allocation, right? So we're actually putting, grouping the bars, well not grouping the bar, we're allocating the bars, these dividers, on these 16 different spots, okay? On 16 different spots. <clears throat> and for every, you know, whenever you shuffle them, you come up with a, a grouping of mooncakes to allocate to people. So in this case, one mooncake, two mooncake. So this will be nine mooncakes. And then the, the, this one will get zero. And this one will get zero. This person will get zero. Okay, zero and zero. So we are putting four dividers on a 16 slot, on a, on a, on a field with 16 slots. Okay, you can consider them as a 16 plates and then you're putting mooncakes and, uh, and bars. Huh? I mean, wasn't that sort of what I was saying? Oh, like, oh. like, basically two of them are the same? Say again? Wasn't that sort of what I was saying? Because I, I said two of them are the same. Like the four bars on one side, two bars on the other side. Yes, but I want you, I didn't, I didn't get that 16, 16, 16, uh, uh, 16 slots, okay? We have 16 slots, and we're like allocating four bars. You can put this way, this way, and then there will be 12 mooncakes here, so then there will be, someone gets zero, another one gets zero, and then one gets 12, and one gets zero, and one gets zero. This is just one of the, one way to allocate these bars. Um. The difference between this problem and the problem that everyone will have at least one is that here, you can put two bars adjacent to each other, okay? Because basically you can randomly assign the four bars among these 16 slots. But in the other problem, you cannot. Because uh, when you assign two bars next to each other, uh, someone will get zero mooncakes. So you're basically just kind of putting 16 objects, you know that they're objects, and you're choosing four to be bars? Yes, 16 objects and choose four to be bars. 16 empty spots, I put bar four bars on these 16 empty spots. The rest will be mooncakes. Okay? All right, guys. I think uh, if you know this, if you know these two, uh, the, next, the next two will be easier. Uh, we don't have time to go over the other two. Um, yeah, maybe uh, next week, we can talk about the other two next week, okay? Uh, I will set up time uh, for next week. You know, same, same people will be meeting next week to discuss the other two problems. Okay? Yes, I want you to understand that the purpose of this is not for you to, to, to memorize the formula. It's for you to understand the process, why we're getting this formula, okay? I like, I like Kyle's way very much. Uh, he used uh, algebra to derive the formula, but still I need an intuitive explanation from you guys to, so that I know you understand the formula, okay? All right, guys, I will see you next week. I will see the same group next week, okay? Okay, so I think all of you were in the, in the session last week, right? So you're all familiar with the, the, the method we talked about to share the, the mooncake, the stars and bars. All right, last time we discussed uh, problem one and two. Okay, so today we're going to go over three and four. Who want to talk about number three? Can I? I'm probably not going to get this one right, but so can you put up the paint thingy, my jig? Yeah, paint hold on. 3D. Is that Eric? Yes, I'm Eric. Yeah, so when uh, 
Because so I don't I don't see your face when you are talking. So. Uh, oh, okay. For, Here we go. Anyone, yeah, please. So when you are talking, please announce your name so that I know who I'm talking about. Okay. So, okay. Uh, let's uh, let's let, let, let's first you know go over number three. So number three said Leo has to give at least one piece to each family member. So that's the same condition as problem number two. Yeah. And then it's asking what's the likelihood Leo gets more pieces than the number of pieces any other members get. Okay, so we have five people and Leo gets more than any of the other four. Okay, okay. I'm gonna think this as I go through. So okay. we yesterday we noted that there were 330 ways to like distribute it out if you don't if like everybody has to get one. Okay, so can you briefly review how we got 330? Okay. Okay, so you have 12. Uh -huh. And then everybody has to get at least one. Yep. So that means you have to put three in between the spaces of the stones, three sticks in between the spaces. Because if you like have one here and another, if you have one, so if you- So if I put three sticks, that's to allocate among four, uh, four people, right? But we have yeah. five people. Oh yeah, four sticks. Okay, yeah, four I sticks. Okay, okay, so then you have to put them in between the, the spaces. Okay. So there's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven spaces. So then we have to do eleven choose four to arrange the spaces. Uh, okay, so 11 choose four. So we have 11 spaces and there were four okay, sticks. Four sticks. So that will be 11 choose four. Yes, and that equals 11 times 10 times nine times eight over four times three times two times one. Okay. Now you can cancel out the four and the two to cancel out the eight. Cancel out the nine with the three and you get 330 ways. Very good, okay, so this is from problem number two, right? Number yes. two, there are 330 ways. If we, you know, if Leo has to give at least one piece to each family member. Okay, now number three, in what situation okay, so, Leo gets more? Okay, so since everybody, everybody has to get at least one, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm right about that. Mm -hmm. So that means that Leo, let's say that Leo gets the most possible. Okay. So Leo so gets. first situation, you're saying first situation is Leo gets most possible. How many? He can How only get, he can only get nine because, I mean, no, he can only get eight because everybody else has to get at least one. Okay. So basically Leo gets eight and the other one gets one, 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 right? Yes, and then so there's only one way to do it that way. Okay, so this is one way to do it. And then now for the second case, is that Leo gets second most as possible. He okay, gets seven. seven. Okay. And then so now one person has to get two. There's four there ways to, there, so like, let's say like you get two and everybody else gets one. Okay. There's four ways to arrange the two within the ones. Okay. So there's four ways. Okay. Four ways. Now, now Leo has to get, now Leo gets six. Okay. That means that there are six left. Okay. So now we have to find out how to distribute this. Okay. So, you can either do three, one, one, one. There's four ways to do that. Okay. Then you can do two, two, one, one. And there's, I believe there are, let's see, four choose way to, four choose two ways to do that, which is six. Okay. And you, I don't think you can do three, two, one. Okay. And that's all. So mm -hmm. one, four, ten. Wait a second, um, Eric. Yeah. It says that Leo has to have more mooncakes. Um, what's the probability that Leo has more mooncakes than any other person? So that means that um, 
Wait a second. Sorry. So then, so then now Leo has to get five. Okay. So then five. So then we have to try to arrange the seven. Nobody okay. else. So then we can only do four, one, one, one. There's four ways to do that. We can do three, two, I mean, three, three, two, one, one. There are, you have to now choose, there's, so now that's four factorial over two ways to do that. So that's 12? Yes. Okay. And basically now there are, you can also do two, three, and one, four. Uh, but that we already counted that, so there's only 16 ways. Hold on, hold on. Uh, three, two, one, one, and then what? That's it, right? Oh, yeah, two, 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 one. There's also two, 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 two one. Two, 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 one. So how many? Oh, I thought that was it. I think that's what I got wrong. Okay, so that. Uh, okay. <laughs> there's only four ways to do it that way. Okay. And then I think that's it. That Those are the partitions of seven. Okay. So how many in total? 20. 20. Okay. Now if you have four, if Leo has one, four mooncakes, then there's eight left. But every, nobody can get four because Leo has to have the most. Okay. So we can do three. Two. We can do three, two, two, one. There's 12 ways to do it that way. Okay, so then we have to find the ways to do five without. Uh, that, that, that's it? And it's three, two, two, one. Any other, any other way to allocate eight to the remaining four people? What? Two, two, two. Two, two. three, two? We already no. have that. Two, 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 two. two, two. two. Oh yeah, two, 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 two. I forgot that too. Okay. Any okay, other so ways to allocate it? Four, one, two, one. Or four, two, one, one. No, you uh, can't Leo. do that because Leo has Leo to have has... the most. Uh -uh, because Leo if Leo doesn't have the most, then he will not be the king. Okay. Well, this is different. So when Leo, if if I say Leo has the most, then the other ones may get four because you know if they are both four, Leo still has the most. I said Leo has more than any other member, so that means. Leo, the other member cannot get get more than three, right? Right. So any other ways? I don't think so. Give it's it another thought. Um, can there be three one three one? Three three one one, right? Oh yes. Whoops, forgot that one too. So how many? That's six. Yep. I think and that's I think... it. And then then what? So this is uh. Then you have to add them up. Nineteen. Add so why not, up. you know, why didn't you try Leo, you know, Leo gets three? Because, you, because then it would be too much. It would be an overflow. Everybody would either have more or everybody, one person would have tie with Leo or have more. Because that's if you right. have two, 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 that's one less than nine. Somebody's going to uh -huh. have that three. Okay, so there's no way we, we can have this one work, okay? Mm-hmm. So how many in total? There are one plus four plus 10 is 15. 15 okay. plus 20 is 35. 35 okay. plus 19. No, or I could just do it the easy way. 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 10 plus four. <laughs> you, you're almost done with the calculation and then you redo it, but that's fine. So you group one and 19, that's 20. So in total, that's what? 54, right? plus, Yeah, 54. So now that's 54, so, but there were originally 330 ways to allocate it. Okay. So now 54 over 330. Oh, no, I have to calculate. Come on. You know, you don't need a calculator for this. No, I don't. So that's yeah. also 27. That's also 27. No, not 27. Okay. That's also 18 over 110 because you cancel out of three from both sides. No, 18. 65. No, it's 18. Yeah. So that's also 9 over 55. 
Okay, so the problem is 9 over 55, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think oh, I think I'm an easier way to do like this. Eric's... Yeah, and that's what I'm about to say. So I think I like Eric's way of, of counting this. Um, but I think there is an easier way. So at least one easier way. So uh, David, go ahead. Um, so basically, <clears throat> I divided this up in cases, eight, seven, six, five, okay. are all fine. But then, like, I, I just devised this case. So basically, Leo is one. Eight, seven, six, five. You elaborate it. Well, I mean, case one is that uh, Leo gets eight. Case two is Leo gets seven. So you case divide three. this based on how many Leo gets, right? So eight, seven, six, five, four. Well, I mean, I have a new way right now, but. Okay, okay. You so, have a new way, all right? <clears throat> so basically, Leo is one of the five people. So with, with like, there are, there are cases in which he gets the same. So like, Oh, we have to minus that. So the original one would be one fifth, which is. Huh? Go ahead. Um, the original probability would be one fifth or eleven fifty five, or oh, eleven over fifty five, not nine over fifty five. What so do you that mean would by be... one fifth? Because like everybody has the same portion, so. Uh, oh, like, okay. So you're if you don't count everyone... the repeats. Everyone can be high, can, can you know, may get more than the others. So there are five people. So you said the original probably is one fifth, but it's not exactly right because they may get the same. Uh, they may, yeah. So, them. like, um, that would be 66. What do you mean, 66? 66 ways out of 330. Okay, <clears throat> and then you start to a minus. So let's just say that Leo gets four cookies. Leo gets four, okay. Um, originally, you could have gotten x plus y plus z equals three, x plus y plus z equals four. Well, I mean, no, so x plus y plus z plus w equals eight. Okay, so basically the, the other four people, x plus y plus z plus w equals eight, right? So these are the other four people, the, how many they are getting, right? Yeah, and then w okay. equals eight minus x plus y plus z. Okay. And that is basically an x plus y plus z can equal three all the way to seven. Three all the way to seven, okay. But we omitted three and four in Eric's case because they don't want to work. But I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna omit it right here. So Five, three and four, seven. three yeah. and four, three, three has one solution and four has three solutions. Okay, three has one, or you only have one solution and four has three solutions. So 54 is 11 away from 66. So we want to eliminate 11. Mm. Oh, no, no, oh, no, hold on. You don't know 54 12. yet. <laughs> so oh. you started from 66. You don't know 54. Okay, that's the answer. All right. And then we have to uh, see Leo gets 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so Leo gets 3. X plus Y plus Z plus W equals 9. Okay. Keep going. So W equals eight minus X plus Y plus Z. Eight? Nine, right? Nine. I mean nine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm on the right track here. All right, I understand you're trying it's to minus confusing. something, but actually in your situation, okay, in your example, I don't even know if this is part of it. I mean, Leo, because the other ones won't get three to beat to beat uh, uh, to to beat the other uh, you know the other family members. So I I I'm not sure if this will work. Well, I mean, uh, nine or above is impossible because uh, one of them will get zero. That does not follow the case. 
So that's why I did three and minus, three and below. Three and below, but you know, I'm, I'm not sure how you complete it. You think this will work? If you think this I mean, will I work- I didn't really complete it. I just, I thought it would complete. I thought it would work, but it didn't. Okay, you can keep thinking, right? So uh, if you figure out, send me an email, okay? All right? Okay. Any other solutions? There must be an easier way than uh, than Eric's. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead, Leo. Make sure you get both, all right? Okay. Okay. So in here, uh, you first just start with our total of 330 ways. Okay, so 330 ways. So first allocate um, the five pieces that each person must get. First allocate five pieces. So let's say we have person A, B, C, D, E. So you gave each one of them one, okay? Okay. So now just ignore them because you know they're there. Okay, so you know they're there. So now you have seven pieces left. Seven pieces left. So you know that Leo will get the most. Uh -huh. So seven divided by five is a little bit, is a little bit more than one. Okay. Oh yeah, 1.4. So, so then you know that Leo can't get one. Right, so Leo cannot get one. If Leo get one, okay, the other ones have to get zeros. Right, so that's not seven. So Leo has to get greater than 1.4. Leo has to get more than the mean, 1.4, okay? So he has to get at least two. Leo will have to get, so these ones won't work. So Leo will have to get at least two, okay? So then there will be five left. Okay. And there is a possibility because now someone can get zero. Okay. So, um, now, wait. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, now if someone can get zero, there is a possibility where, um, for example, like, there will be five left mm -hmm. if it's like five zero zero zero. Five zero zero zero. Yeah. So then it won't follow the rules. Okay. So five is more than two. This won't so, work. So so in here you just count how many different ways. Okay, you can count. Okay, so this won't count. So you have four people in mm -hmm. two five. Okay. So. Wait, actually, it won't work. Okay, so why it won't work? Because no matter what, someone will at least get two. All right, I guess you have five pieces and you have four people sharing these five, so someone will get two. Yeah. All right, so this won't work. So, so if it's three... Well, this won't work. If it's three, okay. Then no matter what, it will work. No matter what, it will work? Wait, actually no. Okay. So with three, you have how many left? Yeah, four left. Okay. Four left. So, and here you count them. Okay, count. So it's four into four. So one possibility is one, 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 one. Okay. Another is, um, Wait, and there's one way to do it. Okay, so this is the one way. What? Yeah, and then you have two one two one one zero. Okay. Um, and there is um there is twelve. And then you have two, two, zero, zero. And there are six ways. Okay. And then no more left. Okay. So I'm here down 19. Okay. So for four and above, okay. it will always work. Okay. What do you mean by always work? So when, when Leo has four, what do you mean by always work? Like 
Everyone will always get less than Leo. Yep, because if Leo gets four, the, the other four people has how many? The other four people have up to three. Up to three. So no matter, you know, even if, even if you gave all three to one person, that's still less than Leo's, right? So then what? So then you can first give out the four. Okay, yeah, I gave out the four. So now you basically have three left. Three left. And you allocate them into five people. How many people? Five. Oh, five. Oh, okay. So you gave you gave four to Leo first, okay? And then you gave the remaining three to these A, B, C, D, E to five people, okay? So it so it's basically out of seven out of seven objects, choose four to be bars. All right. So there are four bars you need to put. And there are three mooncakes, right? Five. So this is seven choose three or seven choose four. Yeah. Okay. So that's seven times six times five over three times three times one, which is um thirty-five. Okay. So you add thirty-five and nineteen, get fifty-four. So it's fifty-four. All right, you're getting fifty-four over three hundred thirty. Uh, okay. So see the, the shortcut is this. Once you figure out once you figure out three, okay. So Leo gets three. This is complicated because uh, you have four left, and you want to make sure the other ones don't get more than Leo, right? So after that, then when Leo gets four or five or six or seven, these all can be lumped into one case. Four, five, six, seven. So that's equivalent to this, right? Seven. Eight seven six five, right? Yeah. All right. So basically, at this point, you first gave Leo four, and then you have three mooncakes left, and then you are allocating the remaining three to these five people. So any one of them may get zero. So you get thirty-five. Okay, very good. All right. Any other questions about this problem? I'm actually kind of confused on the last one. So you said. One and two doesn't work, three works, and four, five, six, seven can be in one case. Okay, yeah. So <clears throat> after you figure out the three, let's say, you know, you first gave each one of them one, right? And then you have seven left. And these seven, you know, if you gave Leo three, then, you know, the case is a little complicated. You have to discuss them, do this case work one by one, okay? After that, if Leo gets four or more, okay, if Leo gets four or more, we're trying to figure out how many ways can Leo get four or more, okay? So how to do that? Because we want to make sure Leo gets four or more. So we gave Leo four first, okay? After we gave him four, we have three mooncakes left. And these three mooncakes can be allocated to any of the five people, right? So let's say if we gave one to Leo and two to someone else, that means Leo in total gets five and the other ones get the other, uh, I mean, of course, you will, you will be adding the, the first, the, the first one as well, which for now we ignore them, right? So it's in total we're allocating seven to these five people. This problem is equivalent to allocating allocating seven mooncakes to five people with Leo getting four or more. Okay, how many situ How many ways we can allocate seven mooncakes, 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 mooncakes to five people with Leo getting four or more, right? So basically we gave four to Leo first and then, you know, gave the three remaining ones to all five of them, right? And then that's what we are trying to figure out. We have three mooncakes and five people, so we have four bars and then how to allocate these, how to shuffle them, right? Clear? Well, I mean, for number for case number six, aren't you allocating one to five people? So should it be like five, four bars and uh, one? Okay. We were not discussing this separately. Okay, so if you want to do, let's say, if you gave Leo six, that's equivalent to gave Leo four first, and then among the remaining three, you gave two of them to Leo, and then one of them to some other people. Right. So these four. We are lumping them together, these four cases. We are not separating them, right? So if you look at Eric's solution, so Eric's solution is separating these ones, count them one by one, 
okay? And Leo's solution says, you know, since we have seven left, and Leo will get at least four. So we just gave four to them, to Leo first. This is similar to the first step we did. Since everyone will be getting at least one, so we just gave one to each person first, and then we allocate the remaining ones. Got it? Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, so let's look at uh, the last one. Uh, the problems are getting trickier and trickier, right? So the last one said Leo has to give at least one piece to each family member. So this is the same as this is the same as the, the condition in problem two and three, okay? And there's another condition that the other condition is Leo had to give more pieces to the parents, okay? To each parent than any kid. So there were five people, two of them a parent, okay? Two of them a parent. So let's see, number four, okay? So there were five people, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, let's say A and B, they are parents. They need to get more pieces, each one of them, is get need to get more pieces than any of the kids because parent eats more. Okay, so how many ways can we do this? Anyone want to try this? Kyle. Okay, go ahead, Kyle. So first, um, you can first um, give out one moon cake to each person. All right, satisfy the first condition. We're giving one to each of them. Okay, then what? So then you will have seven moon cakes distributed to five people. All right, seven moon cakes left to five people. So you can draw first like a little chart for the first case. Okay. In this case, um, um, the parents get all all the moon cakes and the kids don't. Well, well, Ooh, don't wow. Okay, so the parents get all. Okay, the parents will be getting seven. All right, and the kids get zero. All right. Okay. Okay, so then there's, there's, well, first for the zeros, there will be zero, prob one probability, which is all zeros. And then for the seven, you can have one, one and six, two and five, three and four. So that's two and five, three and four. And then you can, that's three probabilities. And then you can multiply by two because you can switch them around. All right. Okay. So there are six probabilities. Six, okay. And then the second one, um, for for um, the kids get one, and then the parents get six. All right, kids get one, and parents get six. So for the parents, there would be two and two and four and three and three and four and two. Okay. So, so why don't you do one and five? Um, because then one parent will have um equal amounts to a kid. All right, because you're allocating one moon kick to three kids, and one of the kids must be getting this one. So in order for parents to get more than the kids, then the parents will have at least two, right? So there are three possibilities. Mm -hmm. So it's three times three because there are three possibilities. Three first. And then depending on which this moon cake is being allocated to, let's say this moon cake may be given to Leo, may be given to Angela, may be given to Hila. So each one of them may get this moon cake. So that's three times three. So that's nine, right? Mm -hmm. And then if the parents get five and the kids get two. Five and two, okay. So first, if you say that two of them get one, there's two cases. So it's one, one, zero. Mm-hmm. That would be three times, and then on the other side, there would this be... Three ways, one, zero, one, and zero, one, one. So this is three ways. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, there would be um, two and three, three and two. So that would be two times six. Uh, oh, two, three, and three, and two, okay. Mm -hmm. So this that's is two cases. So this is two times, six, two times three, that's six. Mm -hmm. And okay. then if... Well, you can't do it if it, it isn't possible if um a kid one person one kid gets two moon cakes because then so if one kid gets two, what happens? Then the parents one one parent must have the same amount of moon cakes with one child. All right. So if 
two one of the kids get two parents have to get at least three but we only have five moon cakes so there's not enough for me and my wife right mm -hmm. so this won't work mm -hmm. okay and then that's pretty much it there's one more. Um, I think there's, there's one more over the four, four and one and, one one. Okay, four and, and three, three one oh. one. Four and three. So that will be what? Two, two, one, you, one. Two, two, one, one, one. There's one more case, right? Yeah, and that's Any it. Any other case we can uh, we can think of? So how many uh, possibilities in total here? Six. 29, 6, 1, right? 6 plus 9 plus 6 plus 1 is 22, right? Got it? I have another solution. Any other? Any? I have a standard Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, David first. Um, so basically, I did, what I did was, I said parents, some can be 6, 7, 8, or 9. Okay, so you do parent and kids. Parent son can be six, seven, eight, nine. And kids son can be six, five, four, and three. Kids son can be six, five, four, three. Okay. Okay, before I start doing this, I'm gonna prove that um, when when parent sum is five and kids sum is seven, it doesn't work. So okay, when let's, parents, let's, let's talk about a five and seven. When parents five is, I mean, parents sum is five. It could be one, four, four, one, two, three, and three, two. Okay. One, four, four, one, two, three, three, two. Okay. And so the kids sum can be, I'm pretty sure. I mean, the kids sum, there's like a lot. So... But the kid's sum is seven. It's not a lot. So, so okay. there's only one number, seven. Fifteen cases. So that will be um, one, 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 five, five, one, 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 five, one. Uh, well, I, mean, I think you're can... trying to enumerate all of these, right? Is there I mean, an easier can... way to prove this? Um, yeah, we can omit all the ones. With, with, there are three cases. <clears throat> we can okay. also omit all the twos. And there are... There's two, five. Yeah, that's still two, counting four. this, uh, you know, case by case. I need an easier way um, to do this. Doctor, to prove it. Me? Okay, go ahead, Leo. So, so um, for kids, at least one must get a three. Okay, why at least one kid gets three? Well, it is true that at least one must get two since seven divided by two is like... Seven uh, divided? I mean, seven divided by three is like two point something. So. Okay, so the mean is two point something. So what? But someone can get a decimal, so okay. someone must actually get at least three. So at least, at least one kid gets at least three, okay? No what? But if the parents got four and four, then it would already should be. Um, be too big. All right. If if I, there is a kid getting three, that means the parent will have to get at least four. Four plus four is eight, which is bigger than five. Right. Good. Okay. So, uh, like, so we'll um, prove that. Keep going, David. Huh? The, the 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 kid with the largest number is three. So like, if you increase that, it will decrease all the other numbers, and so mm -hmm. that that will like be underneath the number of parents get. <clears throat> well, yeah. So we we six, have to prove it. Okay. For six and six, mm -hmm. um, we don't need to see if one five works or two six works because um, kids are going to have, I mean, this mean is two, so they must have two, 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 including twos and okay. including ones, obviously. Okay. And so we only need to, we only need to see three and three, three, okay. three. In three three, there's only one case, which is just two two two. Okay. Because all the other cases, they have two or above. Okay. And then seven and five are. We don't need to talk about one six or two five because the same reason. And three four and four three are. We have two two one two one two and one two two that that follows the 
same rules. So we have six. Yeah, so I think you are getting this pretty much similar to what the, you know what uh, who talked about this before, uh, Kyle. I think this is pretty much similar to Kyle's solution there, right? So if you, you are basically counting from from bottom up, right? And Kyle counting yeah. from up down, top top down, right? Any other thoughts? Is there an easier way? Okay, Leo. So in here, um, the only way that one parent can get one would be if there's one six. Uh, from which which one? Uh, uh well, first give out uh, first give out five. Okay, so let's say A, B, C, B, E, and first give out five. Now there are seven left. There are seven left. So the only case where a parent could get a one would be once one six and flipped around one six and six one. One six and six one, okay. And <coughs> those are just two cases. Mm -hmm. And then you have um and then you So have, that'll be one six six one zero zero zero, right? Yeah. Okay. And then you have one one. Uh what one one? You can you can have the adults, um, but actually, you can, I mean, then you can have um the adults having two and two. Two and two. Yeah. Okay. Which will be, which will, um, there's only one way, which is one one one. Okay. So so far you have three ways, mm. and then you have two three and three two. Two, three, three, two. Yeah. So in these cases, um, in these cases there are two left. Mm. So then the only possible ones are like one, one, zero. There are three ways to do that. What's the difference between this method and Kyle's? No, no, no. I'm first doing the ones where you can't just say. Like, Subtract oh, okay. Counts. So you are doing a corner case first, right? Okay. And then for, um, and then you must have two, four, and four, two. Okay. So in this case, um, in this case, you have, in this case, there is one left. Hmm. So, with one left, there are three cases. Okay. And then for the last case, there is um, five, two, and two, five. Or there's only one left. So this is zero, 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 right? Yeah. Okay. So, so you're, you're giving out, the, you know, one parent getting one, one parent getting two, and one, yeah, one parent getting two, right? Yeah. I mean, at least one parent get two, okay? And if both parents get at least three. Okay. If both get three or more, okay, then what happened? Then the uh then no matter what the um parents get more than the children. Yeah. So then parent more than the kid, okay? So first give out the six and you have one left. So you're giving them uh each one of them three first, and then you have one moon cake left to allocate to these five people. Yeah. Okay. So it's one, two, seven. Okay, so that's five yeah, ways. Yeah. I mean, it's six, two, five, four, four. You're giving one to five people. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It's, Why is six? Yeah, it's five ways. Okay. So it's five plus hmm. the previous, five plus two, Plus six, plus six, plus two, plus one, plus two. Okay. So then that's three, nine, um, nine, three, nine, fifteen, 15 17, 17, 22. Yeah. Okay, good. So basically, uh, you're you're discussing. Uh, you're you're trying to make it back to the case that you know. 
we know at least someone getting so so you know so many, and then we allocate them, allocate at least first, and then look at the remaining ones, right? I think it wasn't um that was because yeah, this is this is okay. Uh, I think uh, this is for me. I would Dr. probably Hall. prefer Kyle's way because it's more organized. And your way is organized too. Just we just have to be careful about these. You know, one parent is getting two case. So if we have at least a parent get two, make sure we don't miscount these ones, and the remain the remaining part is easier, right? right? Um, Dr. Hong. So yes. Um, number th the last case was kind of confusing. Can you explain that again? All right. So <clears throat> this is the same as the one before. So. Basically, Leo have decided, you know, have allocated, let's say the first case is if, if one parent's getting one, if at least one parent get one, okay, that means the kid will be getting no more than zero, right? So these cases are done. And then Leo was looking at if at least one parent get two. Oh, this, uh, this pen is not, hold on, let's see. Leo look at at least one parent get two. And then there are one, two, three, four, four big chunks. So if, if at least one parent get two, that means the kid will be getting no more than one, right? Right? Yes. And then if at least, so after two, if, if both parents, you know, at least one parent get two, if nobody get, no, no, none of the parents get one or two, that means they're getting three or more, right? If both parents get three or more, then it's guaranteed, no matter how you allocated the mooncakes, because the kid will be just get, you know, there's only one, you know, no more than one left. So the kid will be having fewer mooncakes than parents, right? So that becomes, you allocate at least first, you allocate at least, since at least, you know, each parent gets three. So we gave them three first, and then there's only one mooncake left. Got it? So like three, four, four, three. Yeah, he actually didn't really care whether it's three, four, four, three, or whatsoever. We have seven left. Okay, we have seven, seven mooncakes, and we were giving at least first. We are giving at least one to. I mean, we're we're giving uh, three to each parent. Okay, and then there is only there is only uh you know one mooncake left. We gave that one remaining mooncake to either the parents or the kids. That means the parent may if if. If you give that one to one parent, that means that parent will be getting four in total, right? This is the idea of allocating at least, you know, look at this, uh, the first step. We know if everyone get at least one, we'll just give them one, give them each one of them one, and then we play with the remaining ones. And then the last case is if we know, okay, your parents will, you know, each parent will be getting three or more. We just gave them three, each one of them three first, and then let's see how it goes, right? Got it? Yeah, okay. I'll give you guys a practice, okay? Prepare a pencil and paper. Uh, oh, my, my apple pen is not working. I think it's probably better off. So you listen to me carefully, okay? Back to this, the, the problem. So we said, uh, all the first four was based on me taking out uh, three mooncakes, okay? Now let's, let me take out four mooncakes, okay? I take out four mooncakes and I'm cutting each one of them to four equal pieces, okay? Four mooncakes, each, each mooncake get, get four pieces, okay? Now I want Leo to allocate them, okay? I want Leo to allocate them. I want to give at least two to each children. Okay, two to each child, okay, two to each child. Each child will get at least two, all right? And each parent will get at least three. Oh, okay, how many different ways to allocate this? Each child will get at least two, each parent will get at least three. How many different ways to allocate these mooncakes? Yeah. 
What's that? Again, each parent will get at least three. Each child will get at least two. Wait a second. How many people are there and how many mooncakes? Just to make sure. Four mooncakes. Each mooncake is cut into four pieces. Okay, and there are five people in my family. And each parent will get at least two. There are two parents, three kids. Why is that you said each parent will get at least three? Uh, at least three. Each parent will get at least three. And each kid will get at least will get at least two. Kyle, also I have to go now, actually. Okay, that's fine. Let me see, uh, let me tell you if you got correct, okay? Okay. Uh, well, your answer is the same as Leo's first answer. I don't think it's correct. That's fine, you can keep thinking. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, I might use paper to do it again, but you can go, all right? You can watch the recording later, all right? Did, did you all say it's 70? Yeah. Did you all get 70? Maybe I was wrong. No, I didn't get 70. I'm not finished. Oh, okay. How do you know? Do you get 70 then? <laughs> I, heard, I, I, I heard he's saying it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Keep, keep trying, okay, guys? Keep trying. Can the parent be more than the kid, or does is there really... say the parent have to have to be more than the kid? I said oh, it has to be at least. Okay. I said each parent will get at least three, and each kid will get at least two. Oh, actually, it is 70. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I, I was wrong. <laughs> okay. All right, is Kyle gone yet? I would tell him he got it right. Yeah, Kyle's gone. So, anyway, uh, Leo, talk about how you got 70. So, you first start with the uh, 16 mooncakes. Oh, hold on. Why is this? 
this pen is not working. Can you use your finger? Can I use my finger? How do you use finger? Does it take my finger? Well, it used to take your finger. I mean, there's a settings thing that allows you to, that allows you to, like, like once you pair your iPad with your Apple Pencil, like, you can't draw. Okay, it. now I can use my oh, finger, yeah. all right? So, okay, Leo, go ahead. So you start with your 16 mooncakes? 16 mooncakes, okay? So... <laughs> So, uh, you first give six to real children and six to real adults. So, I'll give three, because I said at least three for each adult, and at least two to each child, right? So, that's a total of 12. So, these are 12 is gone, okay? So, like 16 minus 12 is 4. 16 minus 12 is 4. There are 4 left. So, it's really a equivalent of splitting 4 on 5 people. All right. So, how do I move up there? I, I think I need to use two fingers. Oh, two fingers? Oh, okay, that's smart. Yeah, okay, Leo is smarter than me. All right, so now you have four mooncake left, right? And then you're giving these four to the five people, right? One, two, three, four, five people. You're giving four mooncake to five people, okay? So it's, can you draw the, like, four circles? Uh, four circles? Uh, four circles? Yeah. Okay, one, well, two, three, four, okay? So it's basically add four bars. Adding four bars because you're giving four, allocating among five people. So you need four bars, okay? So it's four plus four is eight. So it's eight choose four to be bars or four. So you have four mooncakes and one, two, three, four bars. You need to shuffle them, right? So this is eight choose four. How many different ways to choose them? Eight choose four. That's 70. Is, well, eight times seven times six. Yeah, 70, okay? Got it? So remember when you have at least, right? So basically if, if it's at least, we just gave the, you know, at least however many gave that many to, to the people and then allocate the remaining ones, okay? Got it? All right? Uh, any questions? If no questions, I will see you, uh, well, I think the next week is high schools. I will send out the, the I will need to make the problems and then send it out and then decide whether we're going to meet. Okay. So, oh, actually, no, next week we're not meeting. Next week I'll be very busy. So, um, and the week after, yeah, we'll meet the week after for those people who are uh, trying to do the AMC 8. I will be answering questions uh, for AMC 8. So, yeah, I guess I I'll see some of you um, uh, in two weeks. Okay. Bye, guys.